insane <laughs> run. And, you know, if you want to check the bracket, just head, head on over to smash.gg slash PB Ultimate. I think it'll be in the chat with the exclamation bracket command, too. Yeah, he's going to be fighting off against Venia later on. But now we got Nixie versus the Buzz. And now, again, seeing Nixie here, he has not entered a tournament in, like, months. A while, it, it's yeah, been a since long Big time. House. So, like, yeah. a month and a half, he said he's been on hiatus. And, you know, man, sometimes just clearing your frame of mind and getting a little bit of a reset, a cleanse going, is the best thing for your gameplay. And Nixie really a testament to that statement right now. And you know he's going to be nuts when he goes into this, right? You saw him already setting up a bunch of those neutral layers, pushing him back off stage, attempting to go for an early kill on DeBuzz. Just to get that momentum boost, but instead, uh, have a little awkward moment of him just kind of falling to his death. I mean, if you want to talk about momentum, DeBuzz is the first guy looking to take it away from you at all times. This guy, unstoppable defense, but I think people don't credit his offense either. I mean, look at that. Two up smashes into a bear. He put 55 on the board in seconds. Like, his ledge trapping is on point. Like you see, every single time he tries to tack on as much damage as possible. Now, Nixie has beaten DeBuzz in the prior game, Smash 4. There was a time when he beat him, so this isn't out of the realm of possibilities for Nick to actually take this. Right, unfortunately, he was equipped with a much stronger version of Captain Falcon back then. Yeah. And now in his kind of... Uh, Nerfed state to put it through. Whatever, the man. You, most you, say, you say all the, the, the nasty ass crap about this character. He is fine. Look at him go. He's in Winter's Finals. Going purely Captain Falcon. I mean, yeah. Nick C, though, definitely an anomaly. I, I would say he's more the exception <laughs> than the rule. Anytime, if you watch this guy play, he's just making unbelievable decisions all the time. Right now, though, to Buzz, not even letting him think at all. This match is going away in the blink of an eye. I mean, even though we're two and a half minutes into the gameplay, like, they. Feels like Nixie's been running this uphill battle for ages. I mean, that white Pikmin just wailed on him for so long. You saw him desperately trying to get him off of him as well. Oh, he's out of jumps. He knew it was he knew it was already checkmate, so he just went off to the blast zone to get back in as fast as possible. Yep. Just don't even let your opponent have that second of a break. Or, you know, allow him to get whatever Pikmin set up he wants to get going. That's also yeah. it could be a possibility. True. True. The buzz could have killed some time farming a little bit. All right, got the parry, leads into some fun combos. Double back here off stage. He saved his double jump. Oh, he's out. He has to give it to the up E. He threw away all of his Pikmin to get as much recovery as possible. But Nick's not done. He's relentless right now. Nick just unstoppable once he gets going, man. And this is already kind of doable. Well, it's looking like a clear win for DeBuzz now. I mean, nair to knee, and we're basically back at even. That Pikmin just stopped Falcon Kick because it was red? And it's fire? Is that what happened? Uh, it could just be that it clanked. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, you can stop Falcon kicking its tracks, too. That makes sense. But, but that was just kind of funny to see. Yeah, that would make it live, for Ooh. sure. Okay, good good anti-air coming out from DeBuzz. Going to catch that jump on Nick. Taking away that for game number one. Going with the classic Oliver. Now, obviously, um, DeBuzz... He has multiple characters underneath his belt. He has so many characters he could bust out into this set. But I believe this whole tournament, he's been pretty much going Olimar, from what I've seen anyways. Yeah, I think DeBuzz's default setting at this point is definitely Olimar. I mean, for the last few months of Ultimate. Yeah. But sometimes he busts out of Rosalina. Yeah, and in, in spots where you don't necessarily expect it either. But um, at the very least, you know, Olimar doing his job for sure here. I don't think we'll see him deviate from that choice unless Nixie makes him start sweating. Okay, let's go into game number two. Nixie with the counter pick for stage. Three, going to, straight to Smashville. Let's make that uh, stage a little bit more small, you know? It gives him a little bit more uh, pressure towards the buzz. You see that transition, man? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually sick. I was going to comment on that, man, because Smashville into Smashville. Even matchup gaming, bro. Yeah. Emphasis on the gaming. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you oh. so much. Buzz though, cooking right now. That was an extremely strong opening from him. Well, and the white F smash just sounds so underwhelming, but does his job, man. Still got a ton of range. I feel like he held down to go past the ledge. Yeah. Smart stuff. Grimy stuff, honestly, yeah. from Nixie. That's <laughs> like, yo, I'm going to die if he reads this, but yeah, why not? Still died anyways. Get another up smash. Not too much damage on the table for Nick. Oh, he's trying to get this low pressure going. I think... In addition to the great keep-away game that Olimar has, the fact that he's such a small target really hurts Falcon in this matchup. I like that to buzz off to the DI away from that combo because you know against Falcon, you tend to want to just DI away from him no matter what because yeah, he's looking for like a big combo afterwards. I'd say just all the time in this game, man. If you know the hit's not going to kill you, you should be holding out, make them work as hard as possible for a follow-up. That's right. With some exceptions, obviously. Yeah. You don't want to put yourself extra off stage sometimes, but yeah, as a rule of thumb, you know, combo DI is so important in Ultimate. Nick is taking so much damage from that white Pikmin, man. I, I feel like he doesn't really have his go-to move to get the Pikmin off of him. Yeah, another thing that Falcon struggles with, he doesn't really have moves that cover his whole body. 
Yeah. And the Pikmin can land on any part of it, too, so it, it, the move changes what you should be going for, depending on where he is. Exactly, man. Think about, like, a Meta Knight in there. He can just shake all those Pikmin off mm -hmm. immediately, but Falcon, he's got to pick his spots. The Buzz was so far away from that aerial, and yet another grab off of the blue Pikmin going to send him flying off the top three stocks to one. Things are looking a little bleak here for Nick. Yeah, DeBuzz catching the startup on that up B2. That's been one of Nick's go-to out of shield options, just to respond to pressure. Got a lot of range due to how far he thrusts before he jumps, you know? But man, this is getting out of control. We haven't seen anybody beat Nick C yet, but especially this hard, man. You just need that Pikmin. Get, get yeah. him out of here. If, if, that, if I can't get him off with anything else, might as well go for the forward air. I like the choice, though, prolonging the hitbox on the knee. That way, if DeBuzz passed through him while I was active, yeah. damn, there you go. That's 20 to the face. Extend the length, man. Make it meaty. Right. Okay. All right. Oh, the buzz. I like that crossing up with the forward air, but very ambiguously. Just a tiny bit of drift behind his shield. And yeah, man, the down tilt to forward air. This is not a good position for Nick. Even if he was on the same stock as the buzz right now. Uh, things are going to He's at a double jump. You see, that was such good pressure from DeBuzz. Holy crap. He jumped out there, and he recognized that Nixie was out of jumps, out of resources. He had nothing but his up B and an air dodge left. So he just waited out the double to the up B. Once the up B came out, he put himself into a prime position to get that forward air. And that's just showing like how much training he's had in yeah. Super Smash Bros. in general. Falcon Man, just one of those always exploitable characters off the stage. If he's without a jump, all you have to do is pretty much just track his movement, wait, and then smack him out of that very linear up B. Yeah, he can do some cool drift stuff to avoid yeah. you. And Nixie is great at doing that, but man, on the way up, he's just so predictable. He's got a good air dodge, too, to be able to get yeah, cover some does, distance. Yeah, he does. I love that transition, dog. <laughs> That's so sick. It really is, man. EMG, baby. We're always going to do you right. And House of 3000, of course, manning the streams here. Big props to those guys if you didn't tune in to the other stream all day. Mm. Let's go, Devin. Catch the bots over there. Him. Yeah, the backbone of the New York City Smash scene, man. Wouldn't be here without them. Oh. And we wouldn't be here without these players either. I mean, thank yeah. God for Tri-State having not only sick production, but some of the dopest players out there. Nick C, chief among them. But, man, look at how DeBuzz is just dismantling this man. Two games down and... No signs of life. I feel like Nixie has just not had momentum this entire set. He, he's been struggling to get any sort of like big advantage push against the Buzz. Every single time he gets a swing, he doesn't get much damage off of it because the Buzz is so good at escaping those combos. Now we have here Nick 146%. I like that he just dashed forward to go for a full jump just to kind of mix up what he's going to go for. But in the second he goes for another full jump. The first time he's not going to catch it, but the second time he's right in there. Yeah, man, it's hard enough to open this guy up in neutral, right? Hitting him once is a chore. Imagine doing it twice when you got to pick his option out of disadvantage. Try to cover that before he can just escape to safety. Either way, Nick C still trying to fight here, man. I like the ledge pressure, sticking out the down tilt than just grabbing the neutral getup. But man, is that enough at this stage of the set? I don't think so. Yeah, he's got about 91. Need some big plays here. Back air's gonna be able to start. He uses double jump as well, so he has to give it to the up B. He just got back on stage. Nick was hoping for a ledge jump, or was fishing for it. Wasn't able to get it just in time. He's got two purples and a white. This is really strong for DeBuzz if he managed to get back on stage. Yeah, it's a lot of damage and early kills too. All right. How is Nick C going to find himself out of this man? Not by taking a red up smash out of shield to the face. He can't land. And that's just this character's struggle, man. Yeah. He finally committed the double jump. The second he gets tucked down to the ground, there's a blue Pikmin with a grab. That's going to be a death. Again, another situation of three stocks to one. Like, Nate, I think Nate just doesn't have the answer in this matchup or just against the buzz in general. I think Falcon really struggles, man. Just these short characters. It's not too easy to edge guard Olimar. I mean, he has no hitbox on the up B. Okay, you can okay. Use, use the up B of your own. I'll take I like that. that. That's yeah. one of the patented Nixie edge guards, too. Just loves going for that. Classic. Get that command grab out there. Okay, those right. Pikmin are wailing on him. The buzz on the verge of a JV3 to go to grand finals winner side, man. Nixie going to ruin the fun a little bit, but I think the buzz just has this one in the bag. And Nixie has beaten him in Smash 4, like you said, man, but I think Falcon did kind of okay against Rosalina. Olimar, I can't say the same. Yeah, you can definitely sense a little bit of struggle here coming out from Nick, or just Captain Falcon in general. Yeah, normally, I mean, as a fast character against his owner, oh, oh. you don't want to, you know what, man? It doesn't matter what you normally want to do because yep. uh, that match, not exactly <laughs> abiding by the normal rules of a set. Very unfortunate there for Nick C. Going to lose his last stock by virtue of an SD. I think uh, he expected that air dodge to grab the edge, but unfortunately just didn't connect. I hope that doesn't, like, damage his, like, future for, like, down in Losers Finals, you know?